battery life on the UT139S. One of my viewers uh, had watched the uh, video review I did of the UT139S and they asked a really good question. They want to know what the uh, the draw was current wise uh, in terms of battery life. So I thought, yeah, that sounds great. Let's, uh, let's test that out. So right now I have the UT139S hooked up and um, it is currently drawing around 22 milliampers, as you can see on the Kairitsu. Um, and that is with the backlight enabled. Now, if we turn the backlight off, look at that. So the current draw is almost half. It goes down to about 11 milliamps. So that is literally cutting the battery usage almost in half. And once again, if we re-enable that backlight, yeah, we're back up to almost 22 milliamps. So having that backlight enabled, you will lose at least half of the battery life. Um, okay, now we're going to take a look at the cutoff for the battery itself. So we'll start trickling down the voltage and we will see when the display actually fades to black. Currently we're sitting at uh, just over 3 volts. And we'll start trickling down the voltage right now. And we're at 2.9 volts, 2.8 volts. We're still good. 2.7, still okay. Coming down to 2.6. And there is the low battery level indicator right here. So that pops up at around 2.6 volts. Now, unlike the NNQ1, which was uh, recently reviewed on EEV blog, the Q1 just basically started to dim when the battery was getting low. As you can see in this case, there's no dimming whatsoever. The battery is still um, powering the display. That EBTN display is still very verbose, and that's good to see. So bringing down the voltage more, we're sitting at 2.6. Remember, this is with the backlight still enabled, 2.5 volts. The low-level battery indicator is still being displayed at 2.5 volts. 2.4 volts. And it's lights out in Georgia. So 2.4 volts and we have lost contact. Um, and you can also hear an audible uh, low battery indicator at the same time. So that's good to see at least. There is no um, sudden dimming uh, rendering the meter useless. In this case, you still have a very verbose display even with the low level battery indicator being displayed. Okay, now we're doing the exact same test, but this time the backlight is disabled on the 139. So here we are sitting at 3 volts, and we'll see just how much longer we have in terms of uh, display life. So trickling down, let's take it down to 2.8 volts, and we're still A-OK. -okay. Going down to 2.7 volts, no problem there, 2.6. And once again, that low battery indicator is coming up on the display at 2.6 volts, but there is no dimming whatsoever, so we still have a completely functional meter. Taking it down another notch, 2.5 volts, and we are still good, 2.5. 2.4 volts, and we're getting an um, audible indicator, but still, we are A-OK -okay in terms of the display itself. So currently at 2.4 volts, taking it down further, 2.3 volts, and we are still good to go, 2.3 volts. No dimming whatsoever on the disc on the screen itself. 2.2 volts, still going strong. 2.1 volts, a-okay. And there we go. So cutoff was around 2.1 volts. So um, definitely more longevity, more life if you have the backlight disabled on the 139S. So in terms of the overall battery life for the UT139S, I'd say it's pretty darn good. With that backlight disabled, you should get, if my math is any good according to the capacity rating for AA's and the uh, milliamp hours, you're going to get around 150-200 hours with the backlight disabled. With the backlight enabled, you're going to hopefully garnish around 100 hours of battery life. Hey, I don't think that's too bad considering it's such a gorgeous display. I hope you enjoyed this quick follow-up. Thanks for watching.